Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Um, I can't remember what it, This is like, I always have a brain fart when I start a video. I don't know what that is. What is that? It's weird. Anyways, I did water, earth, air, I'm onto fire signs, Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo friends. Um, somebody feels like something's over with an air sign. That just popped out. Sometimes it does mean something's over. I feel like because it is a, it's a, swords are thoughts and feelings. I feel like you, that's what you feel like. It's just over right now. Oh, excuse me. I'm yawning. The messages for our fire signs, Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. If you are a um, iPhone user, I just set up my Instant Go um, account. I've had it set up actually, but I don't really use it. I um, you download the app and then you search for whatever. My username is um, Acacia Hempel 795 but if you want to go directly to me, it's instantgo.com slash Acacia Hempel 795 and then that way we can connect like automatically. If you have a question, it's almost like, you know, how you chat with someone on like Messenger or whatever, that's what it is. And you get your, like, it'd be an instant answer for you. There's also video chatting and whatever. So, if you have an iPhone and that's something you want to do, download the app and look me up. Um, they, I was just on the phone with, um, I want to say he's the owner, but whatever he is. <laughs> um, he said that they are working to come up with an app for Android users as well. So there's that fun piece of information, but if you want to huh, connect with me, um, if you go to the description box for my channel, you can just email me and, um, pay through PayPal and then we can do it that way. It's your call, kind of your choice, pick your poison. If you email me, um, specifics of the situation, what your question, what kind of reading you would like, um, your sign, your partner's sign, the situation, the low down... I'll get back to you and I'll let you know what the wait time is. Right now I don't have really, kind of depends on what's going on, but I'll let you know like your spot in line and how long. Instant Go is like really fast. Um, if you do it through my email, it might take a little bit longer, but I can get it done within the day. It's not going to be like a super long wait unless I get a bunch of people at the same time. Either way, I'll let you know. All right. So let's see what your daily energy is today, guys. Shall we? Bottom of the deck is a ton of cups in reverse. Somebody dealing with a water sign with the broken marriage, or you're just kind of uh, still dealing with that. It's in the completion, so there's that. But there is definitely a shakeup, I think, in your foundation with your family. Um, you have the ten of pentacles in reverse as well on the table. Something not really moving forward. You do have an earth sign who is working on themselves, however, so if that resonates or not. Someone's walking away from an abusive situation. Maybe you or this other person. There's going to be a new start. Someone's going to take a le motherfucking leap of faith and finally work with you, okay? On the same level. Um, someone who is really emotionally balanced. They're usually... A good parent, their understanding. The main thing is emotionally balanced because to find a motherfucker that actually knows what they want to do. Oh shit. You have the judgment card. It wasn't um <coughs> someone's walking away from an abusive situation. Probably this broken marriage. Then you have judgment. Excuse me. I fucked that up. Judgment is um Sometimes you're dealing with a Libra, but at the same time, judgment is a wake-up call. It's clarity, a decision. Um, there is going to be this person that wants to work with you. You know, you have the three of pentacles. Um, 
working with someone. That's basically what that is. And it's a, it's a message about it. And then like this huh, emotionally balanced person, judgment. Then you have justice in the full card in reverse. So there was probably um, some dishonesty in the past. There was probably... Um, Someone that made a wrong decision caused a lot of stress. There was some immaturity and codependency, but you're going to be speaking your truth or this other person is maybe um, an air sign. You on the table, you have the five of cups, the six of swords and the nine of swords in reverse. The five of cups talks about someone that's kind of in their feelings about some type of loss or, um, Regret, you know, there's you are grieving something in your life right now And I really do think it is this broken marriage that you're a part of or whatever kind of family trouble you have But there's a you need to move on from something, you know, the six of swords talks about a necessary transition It's about relocating. Um, there was someone who was pretty manipulative in the past. I'm guessing But I think that you're trying to move on from it You are gonna be having Rest and recovery from all this anxiety and shift that you've had in your head, okay? The Nine of Swords in the upright is, like, really fucking heavy grief and anxiety. Um, but when it's in the reverse, it's like you're coming out of that. There's going to be recovery and healing, um, maybe with this these feelings that you have, you know? The Five of Swords and the Seven of Swords in reverse just popped up, so someone isn't walking away from the situation and they don't want to fight with you anymore. Um, you have someone kind of got caught up in some bullshit, I think, um, because this is the cheat and lying card. They got caught and they want to make things right. The next line you have is a six of wands in reverse, ten of pentacles in reverse, and the wheel of fortune in reverse. So something didn't move forward. You had some family conflicts some uh, financial failure, maybe some loneliness. The Six of Wands in reverse is how you're talking about how you're not really, like you're trying to retreat from this. Like you have a lack of confidence in this connection. You're just kind of feel like you, like you should retreat because things really weren't moving forward or they still aren't. Um, the Eight of Cups talks about someone who, like this abandonment feeling, this withdrawal. Um this retreat and moving on that you're going through probably from this Knight of Wands in reverse who is probably in and out of your life, pretty fucking chaotic, you know, kind of slept around, I guess. They are working on themselves, however. Maybe you're dealing with a, a fire sign or you're dealing with, I see a lot of earth, I see a lot of swords, but that's like what you're talking about, what's in your head, might be arguing with somebody. Um... There's a lot of, there's a lot of heavy ass feelings, you know, um, probably someone was promiscuous in and out of your life. That's probably what caused the family issues. I think that the universe is trying to tell you that you need to kind of, you, you either are, or you need to move on from this, um, so that you can rest. Because you have went through it with your anxiety and your depression um, for whatever reason. And if it's family shit, it's always heavy, you know. Um, maybe you want to withdraw from this person that's in and out of your life, even though they are working on themselves. You know, um, whoever is dealing with the earth sign person... Um, they're going to be coming out of retreat mode, but at the same time, they're kind of feeling really lonely and like they, maybe they're repeating the past mistakes, but the King of Pentacles is, um, solid and practical and was really good with his money, but there was some rejection, maybe some false starts, delays with this connection that you have with somebody um, 
basically what I feel like is you just kind of withdrawing in general, trying to get rid of this stuff. There's some, uh, some behavior that's changing. Someone is trying to change their behavior. Um, could be a Leo. And I think that maybe the reason your life isn't really moving forward is because you feel like you're retreating or you're kind of giving up because of this um, family conflicts. But that's why your life isn't moving forward, okay? This abandonment with this person that's in and out, that's working on themselves, that's still pretty prevalent in your life. This depression... Even though you do have some cups to, that you still have, maybe you need to move on from these feelings and um, come to this, <clears throat> come out of this isolation, um, have a little bit of faith, you know, maybe stand your ground a little bit with the people that you're dealing with. Just some advice for our fire sign, Sagittarius, Leo. Hope everyone is having a good day. I am gonna go run my errands, grab all the troops, and probably cook and ship here in a few minutes. I'll be back later to do the romance cards for everybody. Just some advice for a fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo for today, January 24th, 2018. Maybe someone does want to work with you now. This, uh, who's the three of Earth? Capricorn? It's all about working together. Just some advice for um, fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. Nine of Wands in reverse. Yeah, you're going to be coming out of this isolation. Um, you might be a little bit paranoid. I feel like that's, you know, but the universe is telling you to have faith. You might be feeling defensive and paranoid still, but have faith. You know what you need to do, I think, um, because of this. There's going to be a poly. Someone's going to be apologizing to you. It's going to be a message. They're going to apologize and there's going to be recovery and physical healing and the chariot in reverse. Things weren't moving forward in the past. Um, so someone gave up. Someone feels like giving up. You kind of got lost your direction with this, but you're going to be getting an apology. This King of Cups person is still here. You know, maybe this is someone in your life that you didn't notice before or whatever. But there is someone balanced here for you, okay? Even though maybe in the past they weren't able to make a decision. They kind of have commitment issues. So they're really struggling and overwhelmed with this. You could be, this is like another Capricorn card. So someone is definitely dealing with a Capricorn card. You do have this um, Earth sign that's here still too. But there's some stress that surrounds it. But there's going to be a message about a passionate... Someone does want this passionate start with you. But maybe in the past, they kind of felt like um, they wasted their time. Or maybe you felt like that. Judgments here. Things are really unbalanced. But there is reciprocity with somebody. There is... Um, the universe is pretty much telling you, like, you have the tools to manifest whatever you want. I see... A, two different kings here on the table you have an earth sign and you have a water sign as a possibility i think and i think that this um this earth sign is working on themselves and they're going to be offered they're going to be messaging you about a new start as well okay um even though there were some travel issues someone definitely walked away from an abusive person or needs to okay so that's all I have for you guys. Um, I think that you do have some people. You just, I think maybe it's about making that choice and letting some shit go. And it's hard, man. I'm sure it is when it's family. It's 
heavy and it's pretty deep. Your anxiety and your depression is, it's pretty heavy, okay? And I feel like this keeps coming out. You're going to get, someone's going to apologize. And I think that goes a long way for people, okay? They want to apologize to you. They know they need to apologize to you because they probably broke your heart, okay? They probably divorced you. There is loss and depression that surrounds this whole fucking reading. And I feel like, I hope that you guys feel better and just know that you do have people around you, okay? Have a good day.